Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Amplified Survival. How are you? Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Mr. Chisel. <laughs> Mr. Chiselstone? Huh? No. <laughs> How are you doing today, guys? I hope that you're doing excellente. Um, I am... Wait a minute. I am absolutely addicted to this vanilla stuff at the moment. Uh, and I know, I know, I shouldn't be playing too, too much. Uh, because vanilla kind of ends quicker than modded, I've found. But anyway, um, I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. I'm going to take a quick tour here and then I'm going to head mining. The most important thing is that I finally managed to get all the leather we are going to need or we needed to do the bookshelves and I've actually already put them up. I haven't seen your comments quite yet on the build um, so still let me know about that but we're going to go ahead and enchant this beautiful diamond pickaxe and I haven't I haven't looked at it. Look at this. I have one cow here by the way. I did a uh, little lake lake thing in my jingy here and I pushed I pushed down the cow um, and then I've been desperately trying to find another one without succeeding. Um, so I've been I've been exploring to find the leather that I have. Anyway, here's the place. It looks much better with the bookshelves, by the way. Much, much better. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can get. Unbreaking. I'm gonna... Do I want... Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Boop. Oh yeah, that's decent. Efficiency 3. I would have hoped for Silk Touch, Efficiency 4 and <laughs> I'm breaking 3. But that would have been excellent. So this is decent. Um, let me show you what I've done before. Uh, before I'm gonna go mining is the plan here. I'm gonna go mining with this pick, but I wanted to enchant it together. But let me show you what I've done. As you can hear, the, the, the chicken are going crazy. That's right, this farm is up and running and I've been eating their stuffs but it's it's doing pretty good i am um, let's see i installed this door here this is a spruce door i think it looks pretty good and i think we, we want to do this for uh most of our redstone stuff so that we have an entrance to the place uh and then i basically afk'd here quite a bit um to let the chicken grow and then i've uh, installed a little latch or whatever up here and I can feed them seeds to breed them. And currently, let's see if we can see that. It's around 38. You can see the E up here. The entity. It's around 38. Chicken doing their thing, spitting out eggs. And it's working great. Um, I think, though, that we will move it in the future to the spawn chunks. Because uh, that's another thing I've done. Let me show you. Let's head down here. I dug a tunnel. Tunnel, Sai. Um, huh. Using the compass. Oh, maybe I should show you how this works in case you don't know. Huh. Come on, come on. Ah, crap. <laughs> Just gonna do that. Uh, let's run back to our dang chest. Uh, we really need to get some kind of sorting going or some kind of chest system. But I don't think we have time for that today. You'll also notice, by the way, while I'm here, I've been mining a lot of quartz. That's because I died at the 33 levels or whatever it was we had in the last episode. I died from the stupidest things. I was hunting cows and I fell down from a mountain, survived, and then was shot by a skeleton that was standing in a dark area. Uh, it was pretty bad. Where the f crap is... There we go. There we go. So what you do to find the spawn chunks is that you use this compass thingy -ma Um and it will point you towards four blocks, a two by two, and that is the center of the four chunks that are your spawn chunks. Now, wow, what happened to my frames? Wait a minute, let me restart my recording. That is so weird, I just restarted the recording and boom! From 15 FPS to 120. I don't know what's going on with DX Story, but anyway. Um, yeah, so, so basically I just dug this nice 1x2 hole, we're gonna fix it later, and found out that these four pieces of blocks are the spawn chunk. And you kind of see the compass goes crazy that it goes nuts when I walk above them um, and then also from this angle boop so this is basically this is basically it and it's pretty close to our base pretty close to our base the spawn chunks then I believe from every from the start of the chunk so from here uh, if you look up here uh, we're at zero nine zero and then one two three within the chunk 
Um, and every, or from here, I think it's 64 blocks this direction is how far the spawn chunk is. And if we can climb back up, <laughs> climb this jungle tree back up. Here we go. Come on. Come on there. And then we can do this. Look at me. Install some kind of fanciness. I measured that to be around this netherrack piece here. From there, it seems to be a little bit unspecific how far the uh, spawn chunk is. But basically what I've done is that I've uh, thrown down stuff like this. And then I've been unloading the chunks. And then whatever items are still or uh, are still here are not within the spawn chunks. Does that make sense? Because if they're in the spawn chunk, they will despawn, de uh, de right? Um, and what I found out is that the border is around here, actually. So anything within this... <laughs> bird poop block will despawn. Aha, so some Minecraft uh, tech, what do you call it? Game mechanics. Game mechanics right there. We're gonna use that because we are going to, in the future, build a gigantic iron farm. I wanna, um, I said early in this series that I wanna design everything myself. But for the iron farm, I think I saw on the Hermitcraft you have Tango Tech. Uh, you should check his channel out, I'm gonna credit him fully if we build it, but uh, that's a pretty amazing iron farm that he has, and I, I don't mind having any farms like that. Uh, right, so now I'm gonna go mining, I'll show you one last thing that I did. Um, I did also find a nether fortress, so many things. I did also find a nether fortress in the nether. Where else would I find a nether fortress? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so weird today. Um, so uh, that's pretty close to our to our portal. So maybe we'll maybe we'll take a look at that later today. I'm not sure. I anyway need to get mining, and I'm gonna do all of that boring stuff off camera. But I did this. Woo! Vines. Boom. Um, this is going to be a project that we'll do as well. I would like to have a mining room with uh, rail carts, mine carts. Um, go in back and then maybe build an item elevator up here so that we have a collection area that is centered within the base and this would then be strip mining right um, of course when we get a beacon we can just <laughs> we can just slice all of this area out with speed mining oh that is so satisfying uh, I actually missed that from my modded series I haven't done any speed mining because we do the quarry uh, for now though I'm just gonna do strip mining I think this is the most eff efficient way to find diamonds so I'm at Y level 12 uh, you could be at what many people do it at Y level 11 as well diamonds spawn however from Y level 6 and up to 16 um, so if I do it at 12 I can do another one at 6 and uh, I should have the best bestest of chances to find diamonds um, then I just do this. This is strip mining. I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, I think also, or I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this is much quicker, specifically when you can insta mine later. Um, but this is much quicker than go caving for diamonds. Although the caving part is maybe a bit more fun. Um, but you know what I do when I do this? I put on some nice YouTube videos on my other, on my, on my pad, <laughs> on my tablet, or do something else like that. Uh, one other mechanic to this is that uh, every ore gen is created, as far as I'm informed, it's created in the middle of the chunk, and then from there it spreads. So what I usually do is, if you look to this number here, that is the chunks, what is this, the, the chunks uh, Z value? Yeah, Z value. Uh, so at Z8, which is in the middle of 16, so 7 and 8, uh, I usually do my tunnels, uh, and I don't know if that's actually true, but I tend to find more stuffs if I do it that way. Uh, so that's a little, a little pro tip. <laughs> Hopefully it's true. Otherwise, leave a comment. Let me know that I'm that I'm a liar. That I don't know what the crap I'm talking about. <laughs> that's fine as well. Oh, fantastic bird poop. Alrighty, I think I'm done mining for now, guys. I've been... Uh, look at this. Aha. Uh -huh. I put to s I put these things into system. I see a lot of uh, Let's Players where mining just doesn't seem to be fun. For, for me, in vanilla Minecraft, mining is actually... <laughs> I don't know why, it's just very relaxing. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, I've dug 50 blocks in, in each of these corridors. Um, and I spent uh, a total of four hours, precisely, uh, mining, just because I wanted to see the payout. And here's what we got. A bunch of cobblestone. That may actually not be all of it, because I think I was full at one point. A um, bunch of random blocks. And then the goodies. We have 22 diamonds, and that's excluding the pair of uh, diamond boots that I made. Um, we have coal, redstone, bunch of iron. We're actually pretty rich in iron, and uh, even some emeralds. Now, this includes me finding a mine shaft, and I was considering... <laughs> I was considering if I were to uh, show you that on camera, but... Uh, it took up too long. Of of a time. I also learned the hard way that these vines, they are not safe! <laughs> oh my goodness! I jumped down after being up doing something and I just died. They wouldn't pick me up. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we are going to do something else now. I am... Uh, one, one thing that I want to get started pretty soon, and I think I've said this, is to get a storage room or storage situation. Uh, and the first thing that I want to do is, uh, let me see, do I have any glowstone? Uh, the first thing I want to do is to make a storage for cobblestone. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're going to make, I mean, one thing that I really feel is missing in vanilla, and, and I know I've said a lot of things are missing, but one thing that I really, as a modded player, miss is the uh, ability to store stuff because for me i don't know about you guys but for me minecraft is about stuff blocks and stuff <laughs> i like saying stuff did you notice uh but seriously though it, it's it's one of those things that i don't understand you want to collect a lot of um should i say stuff again <laughs> you want to collect a lot of things right that is uh, um that is at least what i want to do when i play minecraft i want to have all the stuff and uh, nice and uh, tidy in my base and uh, there there's just a lack for proper storage I think uh, so we're gonna try and build something custom for cobblestone uh, and maybe also for dirt let's go ahead and make 64 of these torches um, I want to try as a modded player I am used to uh, a block called barrel a barrel which is basically um, a storage unit for one type of item and it can hold a lot of things uh, so we're gonna try to build something similar and I think I've, I've been looking at this area for a while now I, I've, I've been doing this off camera <laughs> just thinking and I think this area here is where we will put our workshop like the main reachable storage things and and that let's actually sleep um, and I we haven't really figured out where the entrance to our base is at the moment. We do have the entrance to the desert. But to be honest with you guys, the only thing I do not like about this place is to have a desert nearby. Or not nearby, but clo uh, next to me. Like my neighbor. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do we want to build this thing out of? I guess... Yeah, I guess when we build this now on camera, I'm going to use stone bricks and andersite. Uh... I don't think that is enough chests. Let's see. So this build will involve some redstone. So bear with me. I may not be completely uh, up to speed yet with redstone. But we're going to need mm, a maximum of 10 hoppers. I think that's actually a little bit too much. But we'll see. So it's not going to be very complicated. You can probably do this better as well. I just want to have something simple here. Let's see. If... Let's use some cobblestone here, actually. Let's think about this as our ground level for our storage room. And remember, we are... I, I want to go with a jungle ruins build here. I think this area looks so good for it. Um, and eventually turn this whole thing into a big ruin thing. Ruins thing. Ruin thing. <laughs> Can't even speak. Um, so, so the design will have to come later what was uh, was what I was gonna say um, so we're gonna need I think hmm 
The reason I want to build it here as well is this spawn chunk tunnel over there. Because if we build a, an iron golem farm, we can then we, we know that items will be coming from there using a rail cart or something cool. Uh, and that way, a storage unit over here would actually be pretty perfect. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where. Where actually, let's put it down here. So what we're gonna build is a custom-made barrel. Um, and to build this, we're gonna need a bit of size here. Probably, we want to clear out an area that's maybe. It's important that I build it towards the wall here, by the way, because otherwise the redstone would probably be visible. <laughs> um, let's just. I'll dig this out off camera. Let me just get a uh, proper look at this. Uh huh. Yeah, something like that. Let me uh, let me dig out. I'm gonna need to. Actually, that's probably too too small. Uh, I'm gonna need to dig out this area before I cut. Though uh, you saw that I picked up some glowstone, made it into glowstone. We're gonna make some of those redstone lamps. Can I make? No. <laughs> that's a mod. Um, let's see. We're gonna make. How is it that we do those? Is it like a cross? Yes. Look at me remembering things. Because uh, this this barrel is going to indicate how much stuff is in it. And this should be really, really simple to do. Uh, if you want to copy this build, you should be able to. So we'll have a chest here, which will be our output chest. And then we'll have an input chest at the top. Uh, and we need to figure out how tall we want this. The taller, the more storage. But I want to make sure that I can reach a chest. From down there. I don't want to be climbing ladders. At least not for now. We could always extend this later. Okay, so that is definitely reachable. Four redstone lamps, five blocks up. Can we reach even further? I wonder. Get my axe out. Boop. And let's try this height. Jump down. No. Okay. So so four <laughs> what was it? Four redstone lamps. Five blocks is the maximum. Uh, so let's build it five blocks tall then. So let's see if we can build these, this thing on camera. I'm a little bit nervous, <laughs> I will not lie. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and have a double chest down there. Put a hopper there. And then we have to... Yeah, let's do that. And then let's just do another chest there. This will be our deep storage. And one over there. Uh, actually... This is... yeah. And then let's connect the, the chest up, so I'm shift-clicking. So we have the, the input chest will be on top. That's the chest that it was important that we could reach. And that has a hopper facing this chest, hopper facing that chest, and then we need the one last hopper there. So that's a total of three, four, five double chests. Each can hold 56 stacks or something like that. Um, Plus the hopper space. Yeah, that'll be our storage. That's that's pretty good, actually. Now let's do the indicators, the lamps, the lights. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let's see. Let's do... Now the question is, can you compare it or... Is that signal going to be strong enough? It should. Let's see. Let's put that in there. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So basically, whenever this chest has anything in it, it will light the second lamp and we'll just repeat. Goodness. We don't have a jetpack or anything, so we can't fly. Uh, so this is a little bit trickier than the modded. I thought this was going to need more wiring, but now that I see it, this is actually pretty straightforward. This is like, a oh my, I was holding shift, I promise you. <laughs> okay, so the next one goes there and the last one can't no <laughs> crap i just built myself in well we'll do that i wonder how much time we will spend in this series just uh trying to get around i get i mean i'm not complaining i think that's actually pretty fun are that is that all of them i think so right let's come down here again i'm sorry if this is a little bit messy if you can't really see what i'm doing Ugh. Yeah, no, that's good. That's all of them. So, so the more items that we have in, the more lamps will be lit. This bottom lamp won't be lit at the moment, though. So the question is, 
I don't really want that when I'm thinking about it, because the only way we could hook that up would be to this chest here. Oh, wait. Did I mess up? No. Good. Uh, we could hook it up so that it's lit when we have stuff in the lowest chest here, but there will always be stuff in the lowest chest, so I don't see the point. Uh, so let's not do that. Let's instead have some kind of fanciness going on there, maybe. A staircase. Like that. Yeah. And we can put an item frame on there, <laughs> should we have leather. Uh, we can put an item frame on there and show that this is a barrel for cobblestone. Wow, that was super quick. Super quick, super dirty. I guess there are better ways to do it. But the important thing for me is that I can do this. And then I have... I can reach the chest. Now, that will make the way... It's way all the way down. And that's our vanilla barrel. <laughs> uh, oops. I'm gonna build one more of these for dirt. And then I'm gonna skin them. Um, actually, let's maybe... Hmm, I wonder how... No, maybe we shouldn't skin them right now. Maybe we should wait with that, in fact. Because uh, that will uh, that will require us to have some sort of plan for this, uh, for this uh, storage room. Which I don't at the moment. I'm kind of planning that you'll walk around here and you'll have... We'll have small, nice little roads and stuff. Haha. Uh -huh. Do, do, do. Boop. And there we go. Aha, so we have the cobblestone and the dirt one. I was thinking maybe we should have one for netherrack as well, but <laughs> I really don't like netherrack. I'd rather build a trash can for netherrack in the future. Uh, but yeah, that is that. That is my vanilla barrels. I hope that you uh, saw how I did them. Very, very simple. I think anyone, if you've never played with redstone, uh, you could still do these without an issue. Um, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure there are tutorials or so as well on, on the YouTube. Uh, anyway, we are going to make an enchantment because I went ahead and got 30 levels. Uh, oh yeah, I got this. I was enchanting something before when I was mining, <clears throat> and I got looting too. And then I saw on the sword. That I can have looting too. So I could, yeah, I could combine them and then I would get looting three. Which would be pretty good. I also have the boots depth strider, which is pretty cool. That means that I can walk under the water. What will the pick give me? Oh, all of these are pretty good. I mean, I would want a better pickaxe. But this is more fun. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's only looting. Dang it. Fortune 3? Nice. Feather Falling 4? Oh no. Both of those are things that I really want. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's good. We need to make we need to make an anvil here. I don't have an anvil. By the way, I, I haven't said this in my vanilla series, but if the sound the sound should be good. I do have a studio mic, by the way. Maybe you're new to my channel, only checking out my vanilla stuff. Uh, then you wouldn't know, but I have a proper microphone and that. But one thing that annoys me at the moment is that my shock mount is broken. So you can clearly or very clearly hear my typing. You can hear my like the, the table picks up these those things. And I'm trying to, to move very slowly in stuffs, but uh, yeah, if you if you hear that, I am sorry. It will be fixed soon. I am buying a new one. All right, so let's do this. How expensive? Oh, six levels. Crap. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I will wait with that. Yeah, I will wait with that because we don't have any proper XP system yet. Something we need to attend to pretty soon. <laughs> but guys, that is going to do it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope that you will be with me in the next one. Maybe we will continue to do the storage area. Uh, this looks absolutely terrible at the moment. Don't you worry. We are going to make sure everything is pretty fied. Uh, or maybe we'll do something else. We will see. I am looking forward to it already. I hope that you will be with me. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.